In previous videos, we have shown you how to convert binary to decimal or any base into decimal using the expansion method. Now, this is a completely valid way to do it, and I've showed you how to do it on the screen here. But because binary and decimal have a special relationship, or base 2 and base 10 have a special relationship, I'm going to show you another way to convert binary to decimal. What I've done in this slide is I've created a positional chart starting with 2 to the power of 0 all the way to 2 to the power of 8. And then I have written out what 2 to the power of 8 is in base 10. So 2 to the power of 0 is 1, 2 to the power of 1 is 2, so on and so forth. And then what I've done is I've taken these numbers from base 2 and plugged them into our positional chart. Next, what we're going to do is find any position that has a 1 in it and write down those numbers. So we have 16, 8, and 2. And then for the other slots, we're just going to include a 0. And all we do next is add the numbers together that had a 1. So 16 plus 8 plus 2 is 26 in base 10. And you'll notice here that any digit that has a 0, because you're going to multiply 4 times 0 or 1 times 0, does not need to be included. So therefore, here's the answer again without the zeros. All right, let's try this one more time with a different number, 1010011 in base 2. And let's see what that is in base 10. So we're converting from binary to decimal, or base 2 to base 10. Again, we write out our positional table and we fill it in with the digits beneath it. We highlight the placeholders that have a 1 in them and then we add together those digits. When we add together those digits, we get 64 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1 is 83. And so 1010011 is 83 in base 10. So this is a convenient way to convert a binary number into base 10.